There you go. Okay, so we got here what we've been waiting for. We have the most expensive case offered to the public in the history of baseball. It's the primary market, not second market or older. And we here have a case of Topps Transcendent that was put together for the 65th anniversary of Topps. So we have uh, some really good friends out there that know how to work it and got this to us. They're completely sold out. The starting price is $20,000 for a case. Um, and uh, it's a box. Well, it's a set. It's a, well, we'll talk about that. So $20,000 of the price has now gone up aftermarket right now at about $26,000. They're not available for sale on open or that we've currently seen in the open market. Uh, it just shipped December 7th and today's December 12th. We took a couple days to get it and now we're excited to open it here. Um, it has a full set of 65 cards that are the base collection. It has and 65 autos, I believe. Yes, yeah. plus an additional, I believe, 10 or 12. So, but uh, the, you get one of every number to 65, one of every one. And there's a special invitation to an event that's supposed to be included here. Camera not me. No, uh, once you keep your eyes on the camera, not don't make eye contact with you. I know it's exciting. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, so this is exciting stuff. We're really excited. There's also a box topper in there, which you know we're going to have a lot of interesting signatures that have a lot of value. We know that um, we know that some good ones have already been found out there, um, but we're, hopefully we'll get some decent ones as well. Who got taken the other day? We know okay. it's not, not, not the Honus Wagner, and we know it's not the uh, Gordy Howe. But there's still some good ones. The only ones we don't want would be they thought Hillary Clinton was going to win the election, so they put her in here. Anyone that knows me knows that that will not go over well. Um, a few other people who might not be the best, but you know, all pretty decent at the odds of getting something really sick. So we're going to open it up, show you guys what it looks like outside, and then we're going to sit down a little closer, look at the cards as they come out. So here we go. This is exciting, exciting stuff. After this, if you want to stop collecting, I don't want to blame you, but that's not how you do it. We know people were selling positions in these boxes. You can buy a slot for a random card. We're going to hundreds of dollars for a single card. See them selling in the secondary market even regular commons going at a very, very high price. There are also parallels within here. Sets of parallels of 10, I believe 5 and 20. Very nice presentation. Tops decided to pack something well. <laughs> That's good. There's also an invitation I said to an event, which we found out is related to a certain Super Bowl winning their Super Bowl, I'm sorry, <laughs> World Series winning baseball player. I'm just going to rip this out of here. Former Rookie of the Year and current You want to say who it is? It's of course it's Chris, Chris Bryan. We all know Top's ball sucks him because he's in everything, but you can't blame him because he's like really amazing. Okay. This is super heavy. 28, 25 pounds or so. Okay. Told them like this. You got a good shot of that? Yep. Tops Transcendent 60th and 65th anniversary. All right, part of us. Take this out. Keep steady hands. I know it's exciting stuff. Yep. Okay, so it came to us like this. Soon. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the gloves once I take the rubber off. There's nothing really, I don't wanna get my gloves dirty in the process, so I'm gonna go to, it's still dirty on the outside here, so once I peel this back. So it kind of comes in an oversized, do we look at the configuration, an oversized uh, shoe box type of thing. Basic cardboard on the outside of this. Inside's supposed to look a little more 
down, so to speak. So a lot of people have called this a dumpster fire, the fact that they would sell a box of cards for this much. We see it as an opportunity to get something super rare in the collectible market. So we don't hold it against Tops putting something out like this. We, of course, are already looking at the lists. We would have liked to see more things related to certain players in the past, for example. Really nothing in reference there to Mickey Mantle in this, which would have been nice to see, especially given how people are talking about Chris Bryant, who are super excited about him. Um, also, kind of felt slighted. They got a little political and only picked one of the presidential candidates to put on this from, from 2016 to put on here. Um, so there really is a 20% chance you're gonna get a really, really kind of disappointing box topper. Most of them look pretty decent, so we'll see who comes of it. Fingers claw across it, something amazing. Let's see what's under here. Okay. Oh, mm. that looks pretty sick, huh? <laughs> that's the cum shot right there. Mm. That looks, that's the money shot right there. That's beautiful. So we got number 57 of 65. Wait, is Okay, okay, okay. So not 1957, right, which is yeah. what we'd be hoping for, unless they're counting, let's see, they count no, that, that would be the six, it would be the other way. For a second, I was gonna, if it was 57, I'd be, It'd be insane. extremely happy with it. Yeah, but very solid, you know, not like a crazy, crazy solid case, but pretty solid feeling. Um, definitely has weight to it. Let me see, let me, let me just pull this off of here, hold on. Oh. Just make sure you're pressing record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really, really nice. Oh, boy. This already is getting... You're thinking, oh, my gosh, it's worth the experience once you're here. This is really, really fantastic. So I take it back. The metal case is pretty decent. Something like you kind of put a gun case, like a, like a light travel gun case, not a thick one, if you guys ever use one of those. Um, I know I have. So, amazing. Not very often you get something that looks like this. So pardon me. So some people might be sad that I threw cardboard. Mm -hmm. I really don't care. Landing on cardboard. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Now, no key. So let's press open. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Eisenhower. <laughs> That's a dope one. Pretty decent. Keep your camera on it. Dwight Eisenhower. Pretty cool. That's our topper. All right. That's pretty sick, actually. Deceased. This, yeah, well. Obviously. Yeah. President of the United States. Deceased. Oh my gosh. They did put these deodorizers in here, knowing that people might let it sit for a long, long time. Wow, this is really exciting. So we got Dwight Eisenhower, who we can't be upset with, even if you don't like his policy. Really, really cool topper there. Okay. Exclusive invitation. Let's look at this first. Oh, let's see here. What year is that? 89. I think that's ni or 90. Let's see. Chris Bryant. So, okay, we'll go through this here. So an exclusive invitation over there. We have a Chris Bryant. This is the one of one of one, which is basically uh, tops recreated every year in their history in cards. And Chris Bryant signed a one of one of them. So KB 1991. Decent. Decent. I I recognize that style, so I know. Yeah. 50s is kind of where you want to be. That's the ideal one, we think. And there's some there are other, other neat ones out there. Oddly enough, though, I will tell you this. <laughs> Look at the centering on this <laughs> on this card. Mm. It is not what you'd really hope for, right? Mm. It's not ideal. But, that being said, it is a one of one. Buy the other one, then. Yeah, there is none other. And I think tops, you know, and how they recreate these cards, it's not ideal. The centering... Is probably a nine out of ten or eight out of ten. I wouldn't say it's all the way, but everything else is 100% perfect. It came out of the factory just like this as a ten out of ten. But 
There you go. We have here Buster Posey. Our Buster Posey. Now these are hand drawn, one of ones. Very cool. Buster Posey is a good one to get. He's really, really sexy stuff. Okay. These are the quote unquote commons, right? In this yeah. box, what I'd assume, but I take a pick it up, take a look well, at it. It might be the sketch cards. Uh, yeah, the the, yeah, these are the sketch cards. The I think the commons actually are encased. Maybe. So I'll see here. Tops baseball. And center edition does not say on the outside what it is, but it looks like it's a sketch cards. And these sketch cards are numbered. So this is number fifty. This is number fifty-seven on the front here. So I feel this entire series is numbered fifty-seven right. out of there, right? Okay. Would like to see some more randomness about how they do it, but to make people feel good if they get a lower number card. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my god. So transcendent baseball collection, transcendent collection here. We also have this bonus autograph redemption card. We might open that last just because it's a little peekaboo. Now this is not numbered. However, this box here is numbered out of 57. 57, sorry, 57 out of 65. So all these numbers might be the same, but we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I'm going to take this out, put it here. So which one should we open first? No, you, that, the one on the right. This one? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So I'm thinking that we'll pick this up, we'll close the box, we will then go through these a little closer up. Sound good? Sounds great. All right, great. 